most of you guys would know that um palace have decided to release a pair of uggs um i think they might have dropped this week already maybe i'm not really too sure but i feel like this is a further example as to why i think collaborations overall need to die in streetwear they really need to die they need to go away d-e-a-d and just kind of go away forever because i feel like these collaborations are getting to the point now where people are just doing anything for the sake of doing anything and it turns out to be completely terrible and sometimes if you just do too many collaborations what ends up happening like what's happening with palace i feel like even though i always hated the brand it feels like to me that is definitely one of the final nails in your coffin when people see a fucking ugg boot like this collaboration with palace it's like it's so try hard it's so desperate and it's so you know it doesn't really relate not one bit at all to the brand whatsoever in any way slightest way possible especially when you think about how up their own ass these guys are when they first started about who wore the stuff who they sponsored what type of video they made how they made it now suddenly a couple of years down the line they've got their stuff they, you know any everybody that doesn't skate basically wears it yeah it started from being a brand for skaters only now it's definitely for all the hipsters and now they decided to flip and make these absolute monstrosities that are legitimately legitimately vomit inducing there's nothing about these that are cool and if you're not watching this so you don't can't see the picture and you listen to this audio only then you should be thanking me you should be thanking me, like Brendan Schaub said when he told those guys to thank flipping Tim Kennedy for killing nine-year-olds in Afghanistan. You should be thanking me for not showing you what these look like. But if especially they're the classic Ugg boot, which already is a bit of a Marmite shoe anyway, right? Maybe something you wear on the way to go pick up some groceries, pick up some eggs, maybe to catch, you know, maybe to see if you can get some flipping meat at the butchers, but not something you'd wear to kind of freak and to flex when you're going out on the lash or whatnot. So a classic kind of Ugg boot in that brown color and they decided to adorn an ugg boot in 2000s-esque nightling strikes all over the upper to kind of give it this funky youthful type of vibe and if that wasn't enough if we thought the brown thundery embroidered hideous monstrosities wasn't enough guess what they also done they also done it in another colorway they've also given it to you in black if you didn't think the brown was nice enough and you were umming and ahhing they've also given you a black option of this ugg boot which I feel like legitimately may be the worst type of footwear I've ever seen from a brand ever. And if you're if you are out there and you're a fan of Palace and you legitimately unironically walk down the street with that big stupid triangle on the back of your back thinking you're doing something, this might be the moment where you're gonna be questioning your life choices. Do you want to be associated with guys who stand outside of pubs, rolling up, you know, their cigarettes, drinking Stellas, sneaking fucking pints of beer in their crotch or putting them in their flipping cargo jacket pockets or stealing mugs underneath their jackets and wearing unironically sovereign rings and gold tooth caps? Do you really want to be associated with those guys and guys who also design flipping thunder rugs? Do you want that? Do you want to be Thunderugs guy, Thunderugs girl, for sure? Like, how terrible and how ugly are these things? They're legit. Like, can you imagine walking down the street with these and the palace triangle on your back and a pair of Levi's and shit thinking you're doing something? Like, can you actually imagine somebody wearing these things, looking you up and down and saying, oh, you're not cool enough? How dare you? How dare anybody who wears shoes like these, you know, be in a position to tell somebody what they should be and shouldn't be looking like and what they should and shouldn't be wearing these are legitimately awful and like i said before i think sometimes you can do one or two collaborations too many and then you're in a position that you know palace are in now where i feel like these collaborations are essentially killing the brand slowly but surely first it was that gucci shit now it's this holy moly especially if you came at it and you was the core guy you like their sort of like vhs you know filmed flipping skate videos back in the day you love to see those guys hanging around town you love to flipping gossip about them on sidewalk forum back in the day and now on flipping skate what's that uk skate forum and stuff and talk about what they do and wank off some of the founders now look at this stuff how can you wank off anybody in that group of people when they wear when they kind of endorse and co-sign this nonsense these are legitimately one of the worst things like imagine wearing a pair of those uggs and these shorts 
these denim cargo shorts, right? You've got den- den- sh- denim shorts with cargo pockets. Can you imagine that? Wearing a pair of light blue denim cargo short, jean short things, and also wearing a pair of Uggs. Like, this is not even zesty. These are just awful. These are not zesty. These are pukey. That's what they are. Because I'm okay with zesty. Zesty's fun. Zesty's cute. These aren't zesty. These are just pukey. Like, legitimately one of the worst things I've ever seen in my entire life. Awful, awful, awful. And again, just another example that, you know, this brand has died a slow death over time. And most of it is because of collaboration. It's probably made them filthy rich, which is cool. But in terms of a brand, if you were into this beforehand, I can't see why you'd wear this now. Especially considering all the cool stuff out there now that people are making. Look at even Stussy. Stussy would never do this to you. Stussy would never give you this sort of awfulness. They would never do this to you. These are legitimately awful. Legitimately vomit inducing. Awful, awful, awful. So no surprise anyway. Dead brand. Um, and it's slowly dying. A real, real, real slow death. Um, which makes a lot of sense to me. Which makes a lot of sense to me. Um, what else I wanted to talk about here before I decide to let me see if I can see here. You got this, you got that, you got that. I think I've done most of them, haven't I? Yeah, I think I've actually done most of them for the most part. For once, I think I've done most of them. That might be most of them. Yes, it actually is. It actually is most. Actually, no, let's do the Stussy one. Yeah, so we've got Stussy also. Um, have decided to show us a preview of this spring 2023 accessories i think these are pretty cool um stussy again they've whatever turnaround they've done whoever's in charge of their creative direction whoever's in charge of their design or whatever has done an amazing job man like really amazing job from the store to the editorials to the lookbooks to the video content like it's just all 10 out of 10 like Stussy are doing an incredible job so this is their preview of some of the accessories they've got here they've got some playing cards if that's what time you're on um they've got a shot a, sh- a shawl or a blanket here on a chair with the Stussy text on it they've also got some mugs as well that pretty that i'd imagine will probably do quite well on their store they've got some dice for guys who want to gamble um they've got a candle here that's like a spray can They've got some letters also. I think they might be magnet letters, isn't it? Oh, this is pretty nice. I think they got these. These are magnetized letters, alphabet in written in the Sean Sean, Sean Stushy font, and also they have got some pens as well. I like this. Let's see if this actually if this is actually available already. Yeah, it's available on the site. Let's see how much all this stuff is. This looks pretty cool. I'm a fan of all this stuff. Let's see what these accessories. Accessories. Let's go here. What they've got? Oh, they've also got is that like a is that like an anti perspirant or sunscreen? Okay, cool. So we've got here, we've got a S spray can candle, which looks really cool. Okay, get up here, come on, stop me, get away. Yeah, so you got a can, so you got you got a welcome mat, you've got an S spray candle, you've got a skull candle, which is quite cool. You got the alphabet magnets, I love those. That looks really nice to put on your fridge somewhere. You've got a bandana if you want to throw up your set. You've got an eight ball keychain, a nice mug. The dice is sold out, unfortunately, looks like there. The salt, salt and stone sunscreen stick is sold out. We've got some incense, some 45 vinyl inserts as well. They look pretty cool. Ribbed tank tops. The accessories are really cool, isn't it? Nice tumbler. They've got a stock Kinto tumbler here. A big meaty puzzle. They've got a rib tank tops. They've got boxer shorts. That's pretty cool. I'm after design something like this actually. That's that might be the first bit of merch I put out for the Exxon Zinga show, maybe random show. Maybe I'll put out some merch that says Taz around here on the ribbing. And then also right, that that might be some nice ones to put out there. Or just Zynga all around it. That'd be hilarious. Have people walking around with my name on their panties. Ew, swaggy. But yeah, I quite like these. How much are they? Forty-eight dollars for a pair of free packs. Oh, I'll sell them for much cheaper. I'll give you for twenty. And they also got some good, decent bags as well involved here, and some nice sunnies. But yeah, Stussy is flipping banging. I'm a nice fan. I'm a big fan of what they do. Big up Stussy and what they put out there. They always, always are smashing it 
with the bits and the bobs you cannot deny that you absolutely cannot deny that 